For those who remember it, this car is nothing short of legendary. Perhaps because of its revolutionary active suspension. Perhaps because it was one of the most dominant F1 cars of all time. Or maybe it's because back in 1992, at its wheel, one of the icons of the sport fulfilled his life ambition to become world champion. Nigel Mansell wins in terrific style. They're breaking ranks, the Union Jacks are waving. Nigel Mansell and he's world champion. It's the most amazing feeling in your life. At the time, I was eight years old and dreaming of what it must be like to drive that car. Today at Silverstone, that dream will come true. 25 years on from that amazing season, I'm going to get to drive the iconic FW14B. And I'm going to get to drive it in front of the man himself, Nigel Mansell. Pole position that year, you were 1.9 seconds ahead of Ricardo, 2.7 ahead of the first non-Williams of Senna. And, you know, that covers the whole grid these days. The great thing with Williams is that they gave me a few cars that obviously we could get the job done. And it was so exciting, so exciting. But, you know, you needed to be totally crazy and committed to go as quick as we did around some of the corners. And the reason why this car was so fast around the corners was because of a cutting-edge technology now banned called active suspension. This electronically moved each corner of the car up or down at key points of the lap to generate a huge amount of downforce in the corners. What was it like to drive with the active? Um, you had a lot of high anxiety level because you never knew what it was going to give you. This is the problem. Wow. And you always, because where the barriers were and the corners are so fast, when yeah. it stepped out on you, if you weren't ready to catch it, yeah. then you're having an accident. Just make sure you got good insurance. <laughs> good, good insurance. <laughs> Nigel, thank you very much. If I was feeling a little nervous, I wasn't particularly reassured by the technology behind the scenes. This tower, they used to have one of these on either side of the garage. That was all the computing power that ran that FW14B. That memory card is the only card in the world. It holds about one megabyte. That's a third of a picture on my iPhone. One picture. But if it was good enough for Nigel, it's good enough for me. It's all part of the charm of driving this amazing car. So here I am strapped into the FW14B. I got a bit of tingle in my spine because I saw NM on the seat for Nigel Mansell. I'm here in Mansell's seat at Silverstone. I'm nervous, I'm excited, and emotional, yeah. So here we go, out on track. Here we go, hang on straight. You sit so much higher. It's so exposed in the cockpit. You can see out the side. But these are the views I remember of Nigel Mansell. The FW14B doesn't have power steering, so you really have to wrestle it around the corners with all of that grip. This is the amazing thing. You feel the front of the car dip and rise. The balance is just amazing in this thing. You cannot underestimate how much commitment is required to drive this car. And I think that's why the fearless Mansell was the one who was able to tame this beast. How else can you explain his nine victories that year when his teammate could only manage one? Wow, that sound just takes me back to Silverstone 1992. Nigel Mansell wins the 1992 British Grand Prix. This is such an amazing experience. I'm such a lucky boy. What an amazing sound! Wow, I've lost for words. It's not often that I've lost for words, but I am. It's pretty emotional, really, I have to say. Yeah, this is the car I idolized growing up, and um, yeah, pretty special. Really, really special.